YouTube Poop from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. YouTube Poop, commonly abbreviated as YTP, is a type of video mashup created by editing pre-existing media sources for humorous, profane, annoying, confusing, shocking, day tournament, or dramatic purposes. YouTube poops are traditionally uploaded to the video sharing website YouTube, hence the name, but may be mirrored or uploaded on other sites like Newgrounds, Vimeo, Vidly, and Dailymotion, usually for reasons involving copyright or YouTube's community guidelines. Techniques a typical YTP uses visual and auditory effects to alter the underlying work. Some of these videos may involve completely or partially repurposing sources to create or convey a story, while others follow a nonlinear narrative, and some may contain no storyline at all. Alternatively, a YouTube poop may consist solely of an existing video repeated in a slow or remixed loop. In many cases, YouTube poops utilize a bizarre sequence of elements which may entertain, confuse, or irritate depending on the viewer. Associate Professor of Cultural Anthropology at Kansas State University, Michael Wesch, has defined YouTube poops as absurdist remixes that ape and mock the lowest technical and aesthetic standards of remix culture to comment on remix culture itself. Media sources of YouTube poops include television shows, movies, cartoons, commercials, video games, and other videos obtained from YouTube or elsewhere. In the late 2000s, video cutscenes from games released on the Philips CDI platform, most notably Hotel Mario, Link, The Faces of Evil, and Zelda, The Wand of Gamelon, I Am Mean, were an incredibly common source in YTPs, because the campy and egregious nature of the animations made them ripe for satire. YouTube poop is often derivative in the sense that the work of one artist, or pooper, is sometimes used as the underlying work for another video. Lawrence Lessig, professor, <laughs> professor of law at Harvard Law School, referred to this behavior as an example of call and response within a remix culture. Alternatively, two YouTube poopers may engage in YTP tennis or YTP soccer, wherein the same video is remixed back and forth. Another prominent type of video in the community is known as a collab, wherein a group of YouTube poopers' videos are compiled to make a longer, often feature-length video. Most of the time, the videos featured are exclusively for the collab and are not uploaded to YouTube prior to the collab's release. YTPMV Some YouTube poops fall into the category of YTPMV. The acronym stands for YouTube Poop Music Video, where the YTP is combined with music not necessarily related to the YTP subject, that is often remixed with sound snippets, usually sound bites, from the same video source as the YTP itself. Often, but not always, the sound snippets are pitch shifted according to the background music, thus becoming musical notes themselves. This is generally the case in Sparta remixes, YTP and Vs derived from the This Is Sparta internet meme, replacing the sound bites taken from the 300 film with the sound bites from the YTP video source while keeping the same techno music track used on the original meme. Although some of such remixes do employ pitch shifting of the sound bites in some parts, more recent YTP and Vs tend to not contain background music, relying only on the snippets to compose the entirety of the song. Copyright and Fair Use Due to the use of copyrighted materials and the manner in which these sources are depicted, YTPs may be removed from YouTube following a DMCA complaint. However, political scientist and author Trash noted in 2013 that despite Viacom filing a copyright infringement lawsuit with YouTube in 2007, YouTube poops such as The Sky Had a Ouija by Huracoaster, which features scenes from the animated series SpongeBob SquarePants, in particular the episode Shanghai and Ouija, a satiric character based on Nintendo's Luigi as he appears in the DOS version of Mario is Missing, remain on YouTube. The law in the United Kingdom does allow people to use copyrighted material for the purposes of parody, pastiche, and caricature without infringing on the copyright of the material. Copyright owners are only able to sue the parodist if the work contains hateful or discriminative messages. If the case is then taken to court, it will be down to a judge to decide whether the video meets these criteria. Individual Responses Individuals involved in YouTube poops sometimes make efforts to take YouTube poopers' videos down because mature and defamatory content is prevalent in them, especially if they have a large audience of children watching their work. Children's poet Michael Rosen, who claims to have become a cult among YouTube poopers, initially attempted to take his videos down, but after a few frank discussions with YouTube poopers, he decided to allow the videos to stay online, comparing the remixes to the use of photo editing software in a later interview. Rosen has shoot a warning on a website saying that quite a few people have fun taking my videos and making new versions of them, known as YouTube poops. 
Many of these are not suitable for young children. I am not responsible for either the words or pictures of these. He put a similar warning on his YouTube channel's about page.